Hey guys and welcome back to yet another video. Today we'll talk about Fallout 76, but specifically how Fallout 76 will change Bethesda games going forward and potentially influence the development of Elder Scrolls 6. This video will kickstart my coverage of the game prior and post release in November, so make sure you stay tuned to this channel for plenty of future Fallout 76 content. But before we begin, massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, Instant Gaming. If you guys are looking to pre-order or buy any games you can get them at really affordable prices the fallout 76 pre-order is currently 37 percent off on their website check out the link in the description for more details anyway let's begin I think it is fair to say that Fallout 76 came as a surprise to a lot of fans. Hardly anyone expected a new Fallout game so soon after the release of Fallout 4. But not only that, a Fallout game that is entirely multiplayer. It's a massive departure for Bethesda as they've never really attempted something like this to my knowledge apart from obviously Elder Scrolls Online. That's why I find this release so interesting and exciting for this studio. Let me begin by saying I'm totally on board with this game. I cannot way to get my hands on it. From the content creation standpoint, I truly think the possibilities and the fun to be had in the game will be limitless. Not to mention all the roleplay potential with the proximity voice that has been confirmed, which is going to be one of my new favorite features about the game. One big downside for me is the lack of NPCs in the game, and I think a lot of people are of the similar mindset of what is there going to be to do in an open world Bethesda game without NPCs. As we all know, previous Bethesda games were all massive story driven single player open world games. So why has Bethesda abandoned that idea altogether for Fallout 76? Hopefully we can speculate some answers in this video as to why that might be. As a little disclaimer, the next part of the video is going to be my speculation. There's no evidence or articles to back what I'm about to say. I just had been thinking about Fallout 76 and wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. So hopefully we can talk about it in the comments down below. I think Fallout 76 is an experiment for Bethesda, hence why we have seemingly important features of a Bethesda game missing this time around, such as of course the NPCs and why the game looks so similar to Fallout 4. It obviously has been confirmed at this year's E3 that Elder Scrolls 6 is a thing. A lot of fans expected to see that announcement sooner or later, but what I found quite interesting is that Elder Scrolls 6 as a game pretty much doesn't exist, as it's only in pre-production right now. I think it's fair to say we are quite some time away from the release of the game. I don't think even the developers of the game truly know what the final product will look like. Obviously, they are still speculating, putting some ideas together and brainstorming to come up with the best game possible. Since it's in pre-production, it's all subject to change as the development continues. I think they will use Fallout 76 as a testing ground for their future projects like Elder Scrolls 6 and of course, Starfield. Look at it that way, Fallout 76 is running on what I assume is the same engine as Fallout 4. I mean the graphics, animations, player models look all very similar, if not identical in some cases. For Bethesda as a company, it is a massive risk to develop a game being a massive departure from their previous games, and this quickly after Fallout 4. You'd think they'd spent a lot more time to perfect this brand new project for them, as that would show confidence and believe that the game will perform well. Don't get me wrong, I don't want this to sound like the game is looking bad or it's going to fail, but I think it's normal for a business not to pour all of its resources into a project which will ultimately be a gamble for them. That's why I believe they will use this game as an experiment to see what works and what doesn't for their future projects. There they'll be able to take the idea of Fallout 76 and expand it on a massive scale. I mean, just imagine a similar concept for Elder Scrolls 6, where you have the usual Bethesda the styled single player experience with a rich world to explore, plenty of interesting stories to discover and NPCs to meet, but on top of that you get the multiplayer aspect of the game, where you have a number of people exploring the same world as you, but each of the player is on a different personal quest. That way you truly be able to make the world feel alive, with both NPCs and player controlled characters. Just imagine the ability to build your own settlements or camps and slowly turn them into towns or even cities if possible. Todd Howard did confirm that they will first 
developed a brand new engine for Elder Scrolls 6 and the new engines means new possibilities for the game. So our imagination could run wild with the ideas for the game. I think it does make sense for Bethesda to take it slow with Elder Scrolls 6 because the amount of hype for that game is truly insane. They are basically doing what Valve didn't do with Half-Life 3 and I don't think it is smart for Valve to release Half-Life 3 at this point because it's never going to live up to the expectations of the players. So they really have to make sure that Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be the best game they have ever made. And that means obviously experimenting with some of their different IPs, experimenting with multiplayer and adding a bunch of new features to truly revolutionize this project. With all that being said, like I stated earlier, this is all my speculation for the future of Bethesda games. For now, I'm just very excited and eager to try out Fallout 76. From what I've seen, I think it's going to be an amazing game, so I expect a lot more Fallout 76 content leading up to the launch and of course after the game is out. So what do you guys think of all of this? Do you agree with me that Fallout 76 will be more of a test game for Bethesda and will shape the development of their future games? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, big shout out to my sponsor Instant Gaming. If you are looking to pre-order Fallout 76 or get beta access, follow the link in the description to get it for 37% off. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more Fallout 76 content. Thank you so much for watching, hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye, bye 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 bye.